this is the uh, graveyard shift, I think, so everybody's getting tired. So, uh, I'm head up safety and sustainability for Cantalon. So I'd like to share with you our experiences of a project we did last year. Um, in June 2011, we were uh, appointed to demolish uh, a building number 110, the lighthouse at the building's research establishment in uh, BRE at Watford. The house was designed to a bespoke set of standards using new equipment and new methods of building. The upper floor and roof of the building were clad in cherry wood and concrete panels around uh, the base as the ground floor main structure. The building being topped off with the lighthouse and bearing on 18 screw piles. The upper structure was supported on uh, composite wooden beams with the floor made up of foam panels and a wood, uh, wood, bearing surface, uh, wood wearing surface. Although this, uh, the project was small, the main objective was not to landfill any of the materials arising from the buildings. Cantillon was to demolish the house with the main premise to reuse and recycle all materials in the lighthouse. The aim of the project therefore became to dismantle it, um, which had been built in 2004 with some minor refurbishments mainly internally uh, ever since. The project was completed by hand, or mainly by hand, uh, for two reasons. One, because it's easier to dismantle to do what we wanted to do, and the other, because of the proximity of the other houses around it. In the, in the park, there's lots of houses very, very close together. This also helped to reduce fuel usage, and therefore the overall CO2 margin, with just one machine helping to lift larger items that couldn't be manhandled, with some minor groundworks to help reduce the local environmental impact of vibration, noise and dust for BRE employees. The chief concern was recycling the walls and roof, as internally both were constructed of double skin panels. They required careful uh, dismantling uh, so that they wouldn't be damaged. The panels owing to their multi-layered construction were going to be proved difficult to recycle. The remainder of materials, the glass, the screw piles, wood and metal, etc., were not going to be too difficult to, uh, to deal with. A site waste, management pile was, uh, site waste management plan was compiled to help detail the streaming so that a clear audit trail could be seen. The structure was built with innovation in mind, based on a two-bedroom family home employing uh, new building materials and methods uh, for heating the house, for water storage, and generating electricity, using such innovations as solar engines and their inverters, grey water recycling and filtration, air recycling units, and biomass boilers. Uh, that's pellet fuel burners, to name but a few. Some of the materials and systems were of a new type, and Canton was given the objective of ensuring that nothing from the house went to landfill, and that 100% of the building was either reused or recycled in some way. 11 tonnes of material, the approximate weight of panels taken to be reused, was diverted from landfill. This also resulted in an estimated 66 tonnes of emitted CO2 uh, from vehicle, vehicle mo movements being saved. This was used using the NISP's carbon calculator and assuming that all panels were to be, to be disposed of by a landfill. Although water saving is sometimes a contentious issue with environmentalists, water savings were estimated uh, for, the, for the reused panels. The WaterWise Hidden Waters report from 2004 um, was used and each panel was assessed as having 60% timber and 40% rigid insulation foam by weight. Therefore, the savings in water within the panels were calculated as follows. Released four tonnes of plastic uh, was e is equaling 748 tonnes of water and seven tonnes of wood equals 140 tonnes of water. That's for the panels alone. Now, the monetary saving when transporting the entire building material uh, to landfill was great in comparison to the contract value. And through the site waste management plan, it was estimated that £4,200 was saved. The panels are made up in three parts, two facings and an inner core, a sandwich covering uh, of sterling board type material around a bonded high performance, I'm going to say this slowly, urethane insulation rigid resin core, 
okay, foam to you and I, um, using a blowing agent that's ODP, that's ozone depletion potential during manufacture, and also a low global warming potential because the foam is also HFC and CFC free. This enabled us, if necessary, to cut the panels up if they couldn't be removed in one piece. As I said previously, recycling foam was going to be a problem. Therefore, we needed to find an end user that would not break up the panels, rather use them as they were if we were to keep to the project objective. This would also help Cantillon come into line with the new 2011 waste regulations coming out in October of the same year. As you may know, the regulations have five levels of hierarchy. Firstly, there's prevention. This is basically using less material in design, we have no control, manufacture, no control, and keeping products for longer, no control, but then reuse. So if we can take them out and reuse them, we've gone some way to that. Next is preparing for reuse. That's checking, cleaning, repairing, refurbishing, whole items or spare parts, again, to use uh, in another building maybe. Then we've got recycling, turning waste into a new substance or product this also includes composting if it meets quality protocols. Fourthly, we have recovery. This includes, and these words are all very carefully said, anaerobic digestion, incineration with energy recovery, gasification. Uh, basically, gasification is something called syn gas or producer gas. And then we've got pyrolysis, it's decomposition of organic materials, all of these producing energy as well as fuel sources. Lastly, of course, there's disposal. This is landfill. So the ticks on the slide uh, show how we complied with the new hierarchy. Our partner for the panels is where the NISP came to our aid again, with its extensive database and knowledge of innovative solution providers, sourced a number of charitable projects that were in the process of designing, constructing uh, various buildings. Canton was introduced to a charity based in Tottenham called the Selby Trust, whose raison d'etre is to help the local community with building social behaviours, bringing people together and some environmentally sustainable programmes, all in North London. The charity was in the process of planning and designing a community energy lab using recovered construction materials. This will have many benefits for the local community, helping to reduce waste, helping to create new jobs, creating materials from local resources for re retrofitting buildings and helping to reduce transport in the area and obviously reducing carbon emissions. They fitted the, the bill perfectly for Cantillon to achieve at least a good portion of its objective for the project. There was approximately 600 square metres of panels which had to be recycled and the charity took approximately a third back to help insulate their building. The remainder of the materials from the building were reused and recycled in other ways. The manufacturers took the remainder of the panels back, along with some of the more innovative mechanisms, such as the biomass boilers, the solar panels, the solar water heaters, windows, and oddly enough, the staircase and balustrade. I'm not sure why, but they did. Um, where the panels had to be cut, or indeed got damaged, and could not be reused, reused as a whole, they recycled them into smaller, smaller panels as fillets, and reform some of their foam back into briquettes for future reuse. What remained now were the other materials, such as the plasterboard, some crushed concrete, glass, the uh, composite wooden beams, carpet, and all the little bits that were inevitably going to be left over from the dismantling. We went to a recycling company to take all that material back, which couldn't be readily reused, but could be reasonably recycled. They, took also, they also took back their, all the detritus, reformed it into RDF pellets um, for use with uh, energy companies. All that was left now was the 18 screw piles. These were extracted by machine, and a metal recycling business removed them and all the remaining metal. Finally, the cherry wood cladding was chipped and spread over the site. Our efforts at the BRE were recognised by the Green Organisation and we were awarded a Green Apple Environmental Award in 2012. At Canton we try to use the term material and not waste, as virtually everything can be reused or recycled. We're striving to move forward on this kind of determination, 
contacting all sorts of contractual, uh, contacting industrial partners, enabling our reuse and recycling program to become more overt to our clients, who will benefit, who will see the benefit not, not only in monetary terms, but also a sustainable growth pattern for demolition, which we all need, and the construction industry as a whole. Thank you.